Hello friends and welcome to today's episode. On December 26, 2021, 26-year-old Katerina Sakara, a former international athlete and canoeist, was placed in an induced coma after suffering a serious medical condition. At the time, Sakara was 19 weeks pregnant with her second child. Despite efforts to save her, Sakara's condition worsened and doctors decided that a planned C-section should be performed sooner rather than later. On Thursday, Sakara gave birth to a baby boy named Salvador, who weighed only 375 grams at the time of his admission to the hospital. Tragically, Sakara was declared brain dead after the C-section and passed away the following day. Sakara's mother, Maria Fatima Bronco, described her feelings as bitter delight as she is both happy to have a new grandchild but also deeply saddened by the loss of her daughter. Salvador will remain in the hospital for at least three weeks and it is not clear who will be caring for him following his discharge. In recent years, there have been two cases in Portugal of brain-dead women giving birth to children. The first occurred in 2016 when a child named Lorenzo was born in Lisbon after spending 56 weeks in the womb of his brain-dead mother. Portugal has a law known as the Presumed Consent Act that governs organ donation, which allows individuals to choose to be organ donors upon their death, unless they opt out. It is not uncommon for brain-dead individuals to be kept on life support in order to allow their organs to be used for transplantation. In this case, it seems that Sakara's family and the hospital decided to keep her on life support in order to allow her baby to be born. It is not clear if Sakara had previously expressed a desire to be an organ donor or if the decision was made by her family and the hospital based on the wishes of the baby's father. That's it for today, friends. Please let us know what you think about this story. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time for more amazing stories.